and uh, today our topic is all about interpretation of financial statement how like how you fin uh, inter uh, what is financial statements and how you read the actually uh, read the financial statements you know uh, we have been studying in all our 11 12th ki what is financial statements kya hota hai what it composed of what it's all about okay so i'll give you a very brief introduction and i'll go uh, you know show you like how you read the financial statement how you can use it and analyze the financial statements in your daily life okay so this is all about the first like analysis inter interpretation of financial statements and again a brief inter introduction about myself like who i am i am a chartered accountant by profession and i had a vast experience to this domain into you know uh, finance industry uh, from working from goldman sachs barclays and mccurry and currently i am associated with eygds and uh, so this is the index which where we will be discussing you know financial statements who are our key stakeholders like it can be customer supplier debtor anybody okay and how you read the financial statement so it is not ki ye, uh, very uh, you know uh, just three methods are available we have multiple ways where you can read uh, the or analyze the financial statement so i've just taken a step off about them like ratio analysis horizontal analysis and vertical analysis okay so what is actually a financial statement <laughs> So uh, here, you know, uh, you can see a, uh, the table uh, or a picture which is which is which I have shown you and uh, gives a very uh, broad view actually. Ki what is financial statements all about? So financial statements is recording all your financial transaction. For example, I give a money to my friend of thousand rupees. So so it is like a debtor to me, and for him, it's like a creditor okay so he have to pay back pay me back for me it is i have to get the money back from a person okay so for me it is an asset for him as it's a liability so you must have i hope you know the basic concept of, of what is the assets what is liability and what is equity so incorporating all those transactions which are which are in financial in nature into uh, you know a journal entry that is called recording so first step is identify the financial transaction so next like i don't trust him so it is not a financial uh, transaction okay so you cannot record a trust factor in, in your monitor in or count or um, quantify the, those trust factor in books of account so so it only records the tr uh, transactions which are quantifiable any anything relates to money or monetary terms are called a financial transaction so recording is the first step then where you know we'll, you'll be recording all your financial transaction uh, for example this is all about you see the identify financial transaction which are a monetary nature so this is all about uh, recording books rec identifying the transaction then you will you will be recording those financial transactions with the help of journal entry so for journal entry you will be following three basic rules of accounting debit what comes in credit what goes out debit the receiver credit credit the giver debit debit all expenses credit all income and gain so that's all the basic rules of accounting i think you must be aware of this accounting if you are not please uh, type in the comment section i can make a video on that as well and I, obviously you can reach out to me to know the, to know the basics concepts of accounting i can be very, i can be available on any any modes and help you out and will be very happy to help you out on that so first is identify the transaction next is recording all the financial transaction via journal entry so journal entry is like you you know through you have a let you have a journal entry mode where you record the date nature of the accounts uh, nature of the name of the accounts and then you would put a post debit and credit entry then you will be classifying the joe's journal entry via ledger okay so ledger is something you know where all the re accounts are classified into one part for example uh your loan account so loans to my friend for example loans to x is the one ledger where he'll be uh posting or showing up the summarized of all the journal entry in one table account which is in the t format okay uh, for example i i will show you so it is like this where you will post entry post the entry and post entry so this is all about you know uh, a so this is all about the table format where you know uh, you'll be posting journal entry and recording all the sorry 
so, so you'll be recording all your transactions in a summarized form that is all about ledger then for when the when your financial uh, are our transactions are recorded in ledger you will be preparing a trial balance trial balance is more summarized of ledger where will be all the all you know all the list of ledgers are put into one place and all the balances whether it is a debit balance or a credit balance the closing balance are put into one place so it is all it is a it is called a trial balance and then you will be preparing a financial statement financial statements again consist of statement of uh, financial position comprehensive income changes in equity cash flow so in layman term i will say uh, your trading account balance sheet income statement your cash flow statement statement of changes in equity comprehensive income all those stuffs are part of your preparation of financial statement i'll come back to it on this uh, just give me a second then you'll be preparing all your financial statement relevant all the relevant notes to account so what is all about notes to account for example you you know the ledger so you are a, you being a preparer know the ledger details but <clears throat> somebody who's a reader of financial statements doesn't know actually you know what uh, the balance composed of for example uh, you are bif you bifurcated all the salary uh, in in your uh, income statement of 1 lakh okay so uh, anybody like me who do not know like what salary is composed of so you can put a bifurcation in your notes to account saying salary to employees salary to directors anything and put puts in notes to account so that the reader can understand like what actual the balance is composed of you, you're getting my point so that's a lot that's it that is all about your notes to account and then is final part which is analyze and interpretation of financial statement so first is recording a transaction journal trigger through then prepare uh, then preparing the ledger just may up sorry summarize kar sakte ho. then it is all about preparation of trial balances preparation of balance sheet income statement trading and profit and loss account change statement of change in cash flow statement of changes in equity and then your preparation of notes to accounts and interpretation of financial statement okay so let's just read a very basic term every organization wants to know all financial aspects so all financial aspects is all about it is talking about all the financial aspect not a non-financial aspects please make sure it is all about only financial aspect nothing about non-financial aspects for effective decision making so how can you make the decision making basically so you know if the company is in profit making so that means you have a, you can expect a dividend return on your investment and also it is all about decision making so decision making can take in any form look for example if you're an investor you have bought the shares in the company via your dmat account and you want to know that whether the company will be making returns or not or whether my money will be getting returns or not all it is all about analyzing your financial statements okay the term financial statement refers to collection of all the financial data again financial data on the basis of accounting principle you must have read your accounting principle guys 13 accounting principle golden uh, going concern concept you know uh, income measurement expenses all of those expenses you all those principles which you have studied in your 11 and 12th grade is all about accounting principle if you are still not aware again just put it on comment section maybe i can have help you out on that or make you, maybe we can discuss over the call text any but anything and maybe if you want a video on that i will be very happy to make a video on that as well and the conventions to disclose the financial statement how you will be disclosing the numbers in financial statement and prepare below set of account where complete picture of source and use of money so what do you mean by source and use of money okay so source and use of money is sources from where you're getting your money and how you are utilizing this money to ultimately generate a profit so it is all about source and usage of money okay okay so this is all about source and usage of money. so sources basically for example if you're getting money from your debtors bank bank loan is all about sources how you're utilizing this money to ultimate generating the generating your profit so ultimately i would say source is equal to income plus your net profit source is equal to income plus net profit so in case you're making your money that will again become your source and in case you're losing money that will that will decline decline your uh, source so source is equal to income plus users 
that's the financial statement again that is what we have studied that asset is equal to liability is equity equity it is all about sourcing issues of money okay in other words we can determine net profit and loss of the company that's very pretty straightforward i hope you understand what what you what is all about financial statements again if you're not getting anything please let me know i'll be very happy to happy to answer the questions okay uh moving on uh, so objectives of financial statement i think uh, everybody are well aware of what are the objectives of financial statement for example everybody have their own objective so i have just given a very basic and overview about what is objective so it is it depends upon every individual where exactly you are sitting into uh, an, an interpretation and who actually you are for example if i am a debtor i might be uh, you know more interested that whether the money which i have lent it to somebody is stable is the bank is the company stable or not if i if i being a you know bank i'll be more interested in knowing that whether the company whether the company is running or not whether my money is safe or not so that's all about objectives as financial statements okay help stakeholder and end users to make economic this so stakeholders can that's what i'm talking about stakeholders it can be bank your uh, your debtors investors your creditor suppliers regulatory authority government I'll, i think we'll be moving uh, talking more about in the next section but it is all what's helping the stakeholder and end users so what do you mean by end users end users is basically last person so, so how a person who will be analyzing the financial statement so end users will be last person for example if i am investing in money in my stock market so i am the end users they know they they won't be any person other than me okay that's all about to make economic decision economic again guys financial decision whether to invest in money or not okay analyze going concern of the business going concern you must have known the accounting principle going concern is all about whether the company is running or not whether the company has sufficient cash balance or surplus to make the company run in the long run or not business should be continuing in the long run with no intention of closing them that's pretty uh, i think that's a business bookish language i've mentioned just for my your understanding but going concern it should be runnable it it kabhi bhi there could uh, there should not be a chances like business should be uh come out come to a shutting down shutting down you know you are making loss for lost lot of period of time and you don't have cash you don't have you know money to survive in the market so that's all what uh, going into on business analyzing the past performance and current position assessment so past performance is all about you know when you are making a decision whether to invest your money in this or not whether if you are on a supply scale you will see that whether whether uh i should extend the credit uh, period or not so that is what about past performance and current period assessment there are multiple ways guys but just for understanding in objectives so this is all about your objectives okay so moving on so key stakeholders okay so there it is just uh, it is not an exhaustive list i have taken for uh, you know uh, for the benefit like somebody who are very major, important in part of uh, understanding for example investors bank suppliers employees customer government authority regulatory authority society so investor investor kon ho sakta hai for example i invest my money in a company so what do you, i expect in future a return on investment if i am expect if i investing 100 million what would i expect ki 12 15% market se zyada mujhe invest return aana chahiye so that is all about investor so in case i am not getting what i will feel that ki company ki financial position bekar hai company is not getting enough money to pay back my returns so that is all about investors theek hai bank kya dekhega bank dekhega ki if i am uh, if i being a bank has given a loan to a company whether my loan is being payable pay back to me with a sufficient period of time and interest or not agar nahi hoga to fir wohi auction legal formalities and all i have to run into that then supplier supplier again will see that if i'm supplying my money uh, my goods to a person or a company uh, what i would uh, i would see that ki company ke paas itna paisa hai ki wo mere lo, mere debts ko chuka payega ya company apne jo goods hum bech rahe hain whether they are able to sell out sell that goods in market or not so that's all, it's all about supplier you know on the basis of the reputation supplier uh, payment terms and all i will decide the credit limit ki yaar 30 days ke baad payment kar diya karo 60 days ke baad payment kar do yaar 6 mahine baad payment bhi kar do to koi dikkat nahi hai no uske baad main apna interest start karunga employees employees are uh, you know aajkal you know you must have understood have seen that there are a lot of layers of going on theek hai to you must understand the financial statement to see the company stability 
you know future prospects it is just not stability future prospections take care what companies are thinking about what companies plans are there so on the basis of that you will see that whether the, it is worth to join this organization or not okay then customer customer being the financial analyze the financial ability to ensure that they're good enough to fulfill the contract you know for example if i had given a contract to my company to a company that i need this uh, i need this for example uh, i need to get this done within a month okay if company is unable to give that uh, complete this contract to, to me uh, that will impact the reputational damage and, and in future i won't be uh, you know giving the contract to the company so that's all about the customer government authorities obviously tax pay time pay pay karo regulatory regulatory authority fulfill all the laws regulation employees related ho gaya companies related ho gaya koi koi agar aap pollution wagaira kar rahe ho to usse related ho gaya kuch bhi it can be each any any xyz thing then society ensure full, as you know that in company laws we have to fulfill 2% of your net profit as a csr activity so do something for the society also it is not always making money i think uh, what you give to the society will come back to you as a in return always okay to do something for the society any charitable institution any charitable donations and all any you know tie with ngos and all anything you can do it okay so that's all about the stakeholders okay on uh, tools so how you interpret your financial statement so i think uh, you must know that you must be aware now about financial statements kya hota hai objectives kya hai usko analyze kaise karenge how you read those financial statements theek hai to this is very important guys this is very important tool i think ratio analysis so ratio analysis is something you know where you very compute the ratios and uh, you know decide ki yaar meko return aa raha hai ki nahi aa raha for example dekho you have invested a uh, ydmed account of 1000 rupees okay today and uh, you expect that within a span of 12 months i am expecting a 20% return so how this 20% figure will be coming up it is like 1 lakh will become 1 lakh 20000 so 20000 divided by 1 lakh will be a 20% so if this 20% return is coming up that means you are uh, uh, getting money uh, or return on your investment so that's all about the ratio okay so these are they are the most popular type of financial statement analysis where we scrutinize the data scrutinize scrutinize means analyze read interpret samjho us financial statement ko ki kyu kya keh raha hai and calculate the financial health of the company theek hai uske basis pe calculate karo ki financial health kya hai company ke paas profitable business hai ki nahi kya whether it is feasible to invest in that company or not while digging out all the components can be gross profit net profit asset liability equity debtor creditor supplier kuch bhi har cheez ka analysis karna theek hai so on the basis of that i think there are four main categories first is your activity ratio liquidity ratio solvency ratio and profitability ratio activity ratio i think is more about you know uh, turnover kaise aap apne receivables ko cash mein convert karte ho inventory ko cash mein convert karte ho working capital का सेल्स का क्या रेशियो है पेबल्स को पेबल्स का पेमेंट हो जाते हैं डेटर रिसीवेबल रेशियो सो फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग इन्वेंटरी इनटू सेल या मैनेजिंग फिक्स वर्किंग कैपिटल या फिक्स कैपिटल ऑल अबाउट योर एक्टिविटी रेशियो ठीक है इट इज डे टू डे बिजनेस एक्टिविटीज में आपका क्या इन्वॉल्वमेंट है उससे रिलेटेड सारे रेशियोस की बात करता है वो लिक्विडिटी रेशियो इज ऑल अबाउट द शॉर्ट टर्म ठीक है आपके पास इतना कैश अवेलेबल होना चाहिए दैट यू आर एबल टू पे दैट मनी व्हेन व्हेन एवर इट इज रिक्वायर्ड नहीं तो लिक्विडिटी करना चाह जाएगा फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू टॉक अबाउट वेरियस बैंक एमएनसी बैंक जितने डूब गए थे अभी 2008 में व्हाट हैपेंड बिकॉज़ दे डोंट हैव लिक्विड लिक्विड मनी इन देयर हैंड सो दैट्स व्हाई स्ट्रिंजेंट नॉर्म्स आर कमिंग ऑन लिक्विडिटी रिस्क ठीक है सो एबिलिटी टू फुलफिल फाइनेंशियल ऑब्लिगेशन विद इन अ शॉर्ट विद इन अ विद इन विद एनी शॉर्टफॉल ओके सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट लिक्विड रेशियो लिक्विड कैश अवेलेबल होना चाहिए वर्किंग कैपिटल होनी चाहिए आपके पास अवेलेबल solvency ratio is all about the long term obligation for example if any contract is coming up or any payable has standing with it for the two years i should have enough money at the end of two years that i should be able to uh, pay that money to that supplier within the span of two uh, two years that's all about the solvency ratio okay profitability backs the financial health ki financial health kaisi net profit ho gaya gross profit ho gaya return on return on capital employed ho, employed ho gaya return on total asset ho gaya 
रेशियो किस कुछ भी बना सकते हो इट इज नॉट दैट इट इज द स्पेसिफिक देर आर स्पेसिफिक लिस्ट की मैं दस रेशियो आपको बता दूंगा और आप बोलोगे कि यार दिस इज दिस इज ओनली रेशियो लिस्ट नो देर आर मल्टीपल रेशियो बहुत सारे रेशियोज हैं आप कैसे भी किसी को भी घुमा सकते हो आपको बैलेंस शीट समझ नहीं आनी चाहिए कि बैलेंस शीट क्या क्या रहे वट इज अ कॉम्पोनेंट टॉकिंग अबाउट ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट का मतलब क्या है नेट प्रॉफिट का मतलब क्या होता है रिटर्न कैपिटल इम्प्लॉइड का मतलब क्या होता है रिटर्न एक्चुअली होता क्या है डिविडेंड का मतलब क्या होता है अर्निंग का मतलब क्या होता है यू नो डेट का मतलब क्या होता है लाइबिलिटी का मतलब क्या होता है इक्विटी का मतलब होता है सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट स्टार्ट understand the ratio what is numerator talking about what is denominator talking about and on the basis of start interpreting ki yaar ye hota kya hai for example net profit upon sales ka matlab kya hai ki what is the percentage of net profit you are earning on the sales for example that means ki if you are making a sale of 100 rupees how much is the money available to you after paying off all your expenses all your expenses matlab direct indirect expenses theek hai gross profit ratio ka matlab kya ho gaya ki परसेंटेज ऑफ मनी अवेलेबल टू यू आफ्टर मेकिंग पेमेंट टू ऑफ परचेजेस कितना पैसा अवेलेबल है आपके पास खर्चे निकाल के परचेजेस किया डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसेस निकाल के सो डैट इज ऑल अबाउट यू नो डैट इज ऑल अबाउट ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट रेशियो ठीक है सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट रेशियो आई थिंक इट इज वेरी इट इज नॉट डिफिकल्ट इट इज नॉट फिजिबल की मैं भी आपको सारे रेशियोज के बारे में बताऊँ आई जस्ट टेक एन अ वेरी ओवरऑल व्यू की रेशियो एनालिसिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट होता है ठीक है ऑब्वियसली यू कैन यू नो रीच आउट टू मी अंडरस्टैंड की यार एक्टिविटी रेशियो क्या होता है इसकी इसकी लिस्ट बता दो या हाउ वी कैन डिस्कस दिस ऑन और कंप्यूट दिस ऑन एक्सेल तो ऑब्वियसली वी कैन डिस्कस अपॉन दैट मे बी यू कैन रीच आउट टू मी ऑन ऑब्वियसली ऑन द लिंक देन चैट बॉक्स या कहीं पे भी आई विल बी वेरी हैप्पी टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चंस नो कि लिक्विडिटी के बारे में क्या बता दो सॉल्वेंसी के बारे में क्या है या प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी क्या होता है तो एनीथिंग यू नो uh so the next is uh, you know uh, talks about the horizontal analysis to so, horizontal analysis actually may very ek ek short ek tarika hai ki horizontal hota kya for example if accounts payable at the at today is 100 rupees agle saal mere 1800 ho gaya to so, what do you mean by that i have made made the payment of 200 uh, either made made the payment of 200 to to my accounts payable or increase the purchases and made the payment so it could be any reason so that that's how the analysis is done so okay you know so a horizontal analysis talks about a period by period analysis on each line to line item basis theek hai jaise agar aap isme ye image dekhoge to what talk about ki salary 50000 tha then it turns out to 15000 35000 to 15000 ka deduction ho gaya so that means it could be a reason that uh, you know salary lay off kar diya maine company mein कोविड था अभी खर्चे कम कर रहे हैं खर्चे कम करते दैट्स ऑल अबाउट द स्टाफ सैलरीज यू नो शॉर्ट टर्म बॉरिस था एक तेईस था इट वन लैख ट्वेंटी था ट्वेंटी थ्री था तो एट्टी सिक्स फाइव हंड्रेड हो गया तो आई माइट हैव मेड द पेमेंट्स यू नो सो फोर्टी टू परसेंट डिक्रीज हो गया ट्वेंटी परसेंट ट्वेंटी परसेंट इंक्रीज हो गया क्रूड लाइबिलिटीज में तो वट वट आर द रीजन बिहेंड सो उसके बाद वट आई कुड डू इज आई कुड हैव पुट माई स्टैंडर्ड बेंच मार्क के भी यार दस परसेंट तक है तो आई कुड आई कुड इग्नोर द परसेंटेज इफ समथिंग गोज बियॉन्ड टेन टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट आई आल बी फॉलोइंग लेवल टू कैटेगरी और और ऊपर गया तो लेवल थ्री रिस्क ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्टाफ सैलरी फोर्टी टू परसेंट डिक्रीज होता है वट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड डिक्रीज इन फोर्टी टू परसेंट ठीक है और लाइबिलिटी मेरा फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी परसेंट इंक्रीज हो गया क्या रीजन है मेरा ठीक है अकाउंट्स पेबल मेरा सात परसेंट सेवन परसेंट डिक्रीज हो गया तो आई एम लेस वरिड अबाउट इट की ठीक है यार सेवन परसेंट इट इज ओके ठीक है सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट यू नो योर इक्विटी योर हॉरिजॉन्टल एनालिसिस अगेन फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू सी दैट कॉमन स्टॉक मेरा थर्टी थाउजेंड थाउजेंड मेरा डिक्रीज हो गया तो मैंने स्टॉक रिडक्शन क्यों किया कॉमन स्टॉक क्या मैंने रीपर्चेज कर ली शेयर्स अपने ठीक है आर एम आई फुलफिलिंग ऑल द लीगल फॉर्मेलिटीज और रेगुलेटरी कंप्लाइंस विद इन इन रिगार्ड विद कॉमन स्टॉक कि अगर मैं इंक्रीज करता तो मेरे सारे रेगुलेटरी आर फॉर्म्स वगैरह फिल हो रहे हैं कि नहीं हो रहे अगर डिक्रीज हो रहे हैं तो मेरे सब कुछ कंप्लीट हो रहा है कि नहीं हो रहा सो ऑल अबाउट योर कॉमन स्टॉक ठीक है रिटेन अर्निंग्स अगर मेरा डिक्रीज हो गया तो मतलब नेट लॉस हुआ है नेट लॉस हुआ तो कैसे हुआ सो ऑल अबाउट द अंडरस्टैंडिंग this is called horizontal analysis so this is another method to analyze the financial statement where we analyze financial data by comparing period on period basis period on period basis theek okay? hai and line item wise to analyze how important movement in respective component with the purpose of finding significant changes jo aapko bataya 42% 20 that is all significant changes. this helps to stand stand on data impacting significantly kya impact kar raha significantly 
मोर फोकसिंग ऑन दिन यार नौ आठ परसेंट है तो आई एम ओके ठीक है इंटेंजिबल सेट है चार परसेंट है अनलेस कोई स्पेसिफिक कुछ आ रहा है तो ठीक है अदरवाइज आई एम मोर वरीड अबाउट कि यार करंट एसेट्स में इतना इतना था तो अभी कितना हो गया तो पांच परसेंट डिक्रीज हो रहा है तो क्यों हो रहा है ठीक है सो दैट्स हाउ आई कंपेयर सो आई बी मोर इनक्लाइंड टू वर वर्टिकली एनालिजिंग माई फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट इंस्टेड ऑफ हॉरिजोंटली सो इट इज अस मैच एक्चुअली ऑफ हॉरिजोटल वर्सेज वर्टिकल यू विल बी कंपेयरिंग लाइन बाय लाइन विद डिफरेंट पीरियड एंड proportionating out your balance sheet or equity your uh, profit by uh, taking one line, one item as a base okay so here you have taken total asset as a base here you have taken your equity as a base so that's how you compare your financial statements so this is another method of analyzing financial statement where we analyze every line item in financial statement proportional with the line item again this can be compared with the past data to identify significant changes ठीक है, so representing entire balance sheet item in proportional to the total income statement so ठीक है, so the the मेन पर्पज इज की यार फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स को एनालिस करने के बहुत सारे तरीके होते हैं आप अपने हिसाब से अपने फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स के टूल बना सकते हो ठीक है इट इज नॉट गेट समथिंग इट इज रीडली अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट की यार जो बुक्स में लिखा है वही पढ़ना है नहीं इट इज इट आर मल्टीपल एन नंबर ऑफ वेज एन नंबर ऑफ सिचुएशन एन नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स आर अवेलेबल दीज ये टूल तो आ जाए समबडी हुज रनिंग बिजनेस फ्रॉम द पास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ही माइट हैव हिज ओन वेज टू एनालाइज द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स ठीक है सो You can analyze your financial statement in any any number of ways. So, मैंने तो तीन ways निकाले हैं कि यार these are the these are the more broader view कि यार ratio कर लो आप horizontal कर लो या vertical कर लो. But it is all in your hand. Unless you understand the balance sheet, you can analyze your financial statement. The re, the main objective is to understand the financial statement in each and every term. That is equally important. ठीक है. So I think that's all about uh, interpretation of financial statements. Any any question, any confusion, please 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 reach out to me on LinkedIn, email, or comment. Karo, I'll be very happy to answer your questions. And you know, in case you feel ki yar ek aur video is pe banana ke zarurat hai on ratio or horizontal or vertical analysis, or you need any further queries or feedback, I'll be very happy to answer the questions. Thank you so much.